I'm Safi Bakal, the author of Loonshots. Thank you for inviting me to send a brief greeting for the meeting of the Global Innovative Growth Forum. Congratulations on the occasion, and I'd like to share two messages with you today. Korea has a remarkable history in transforming its economy and society from one of the poorest countries in the world to one of the most advanced nations on the planet. Korea is widely admired for its technologies, its education system, its healthcare. The response to COVID is just one example. So my first message is that those of you who are attending this forum have a great responsibility to show not only the Korean people, but the rest of the world, that your transformation, the Korean miracle, can be sustained, that a country that succeeds in remaking itself, as Korea did, is not doomed to become complacent, to relax, to fall behind, like so many other large organizations or nations. You have in your power the ability to identify and inspire new ideas, new technologies, new strategies that will continue the transformation ideas that will elevate your people and serve as a model for other nations and other societies. To achieve that goal, you will need to create the systems and the structures that will help nurture seemingly crazy ideas, the next generation of important breakthroughs. So I hope you will use your success and your power to become a model for the rest of the world. My second message is to take risk, to embrace failure, good failures. By good failures, I mean the ones that you learn from, the ones that begin with clear hypotheses and well-designed experiments, the failures that teach you something new about what is possible. As I wrote about, and many of you know, nearly every important breakthrough in science, business, and history the great moonshots began with failures. From the transistor to the television, the personal computer, and the biotechnology industry. Usually, many failures. The key to achieving that mission of making your nation and the world a better place is to stretch, to take risk, to learn how to tell the difference between good failures and bad failures. To keep in mind that every breakthrough often looks silly or crazy at the beginning. So the question to ask yourselves is what can you do to increase the rate and the quality of experiments, of new ideas or products or strategies that you test? Inside every organization and society, there is a fear and stigma associated with failure. It is that fear and stigma of failing that holds them back. You can never make it go away entirely, but the truly great companies and nations have found ways to reduce that fear, to encourage experiments, knowing that many will not succeed. They help their entrepreneurs, their small companies, their researchers, even after the first idea or second idea, and sometimes even the third idea, didn't work. It is that willingness to continue to take risk, even in the face of failure, that's the great secret to achieving important breakthroughs. Those are my two messages. Congratulations once again, and good luck.